Any shortcoming in the new UMNO electoral system is likely to be a hot issue at next week's UMNO General Assembly. Uh, for us to do some strengthening and also to maybe to put some uh, other conditions uh, for people who are vying for posts to be people who understand uh, the party, the running of the party and how the party moves. We do not want, uh, I think they do not want, the delegates do not want uh, any Tom, Dick or Harry to come in and uh, uh, just nominate themselves uh, without any restriction. Anybody can nominate and uh, they do not know even what is the party struggle is all about. So that's one of the things which I believe they can say. In the past, only 2,500 delegates participated in the party elections compared to 146,000 now following amendments to the party constitution. Amno Secretary General Tato Sri Tengku Adnan Tengku Manso says they are open to criticism from the delegates. We, we are acceptable to all the critics because we would like to uh, ensure that the running of the uh, uh, way we conduct the uh, election for the party uh, for the next uh, session will be much better and smoother than what had happened recently. Tengku Adnan says besides the 25 elected Supreme Council members, nine others will be appointed to the top body. He says the list of the nine appointed members is ready and their names will be announced after party president Dato Sri Najib Dun Razak signs their appointment letters. He also announced that in conjunction with the General Assembly next Monday, a two-day international forum on the politics of moderation accommodates and balances competing principles that leads to peace and stability would also be held. Tengku Adnan also says that former Prime Minister Tun Dr. Mahathir Mohamad is scheduled to speak at the forum. The opening of the Youth Wanita and Putri Wings will be held Tuesday night, while the opening ceremony for the General Assembly will be held on Thursday.